Here's how you can create a connection between your NA end workflow and your Notion database. So I created a very basic NA end workflow here. I just clicked a brand new workflow and then I added the execute workflow trigger. So the very first step to creating a connection is by clicking on the plus button right here. And then we're gonna search for Notion and we're gonna use one of their pre-built Notion nodes here. And we're gonna select under the database actions, we're going to choose the get a database. And right off the bat, it's gonna tell us that we need to create a connection if we wanna access that Notion database. So under the credential to connect with, we're going to click on where it says create a new credential. And here it's going to want a internal integration secret token. So the way we can actually get this is by going over to our Notion. We wanna make sure that we have our database selected and then go down to where it says settings. Under our settings, we wanna to go to where it says connections on the bottom left here. And then under our connections, we wanna scroll down until we see where it says develop or manage integrations. This will take us to the integrations page, in which case we are going to wanna create a branded new integration so that it's specific to our NAN workflow. So to do that, we can click on where it says new integration. Next, we need to select a, an associated workspace. So again, my workspace is this account right here. So make sure that you select that your, your associated workspace that's associated with the database. And then under the type, we wanna select internal because we don't want this to actually be public. We just wanna use this internally with our automation workflows. And for the integration name, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it NAN tutorial for Evan does AI. And you can optionally upload a logo as well, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and click on where it says save. And then it should tell us that our integration was successfully created and we can go ahead and configure our integration settings. So under our integration settings, we can see our internal integration secret. I'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says show. And then I'm going to click on the copy token button. And now we can come back to our NAN workflow and go ahead and paste that token in like so. Then we can go ahead and click on where it says save and should show that our credential was successfully created. And now we need to go back to our Notion database and we have one more setting that we need to change. So we need to open up our database that we want to connect to and then go to the top right where we see the three dots here. And then under the connections, we want to add that connection that we just created. So for me, that was called NAN Tutorial EDA. Whatever you named your integration, just go ahead and select that. And then it's going to verify that you want to give access to this integration and that it'll tell you that it can read the content, insert content, and it can update content. So if everything looks okay, you can just go ahead and click on confirm. And now this database has been successfully connected to our NAN workflow. And to go ahead and test that, we can head back to our NAN workflow. We can exit out of that. We can now see that we have this connection here, which is our Notion account. For the resource, we're gonna select the database resource. And then for our operation, we're gonna choose get. And then from the database, we can go ahead and select that example database, which should show up here if you did everything correctly. So go ahead and select your database and then go ahead and click on where it says execute step on the top right. And now we can see that we have successfully gotten our Notion database from our Notion account right here in the output. And so from here, you can do whatever you want with your Notion database. You can list all your items in your database in your NAN workflow. You can modify the items in your database. But that is how you can connect your Notion database to your NAN workflow. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And I also have a community in the description down below, in which case I help out our community members with various NAN workflows and other AI integrations. So if that is something that you're interested in, you can check it out in the description down below. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this helped you out.